understand veganism. And I understand veganism is so important nowadays for many reasons. But what's the main reason? The main reason from a spiritual point of view, and I'm also going to say from a health point of view, is no spilling of blood. So that means we're not eating animals. And when animals are killed, we create pain, we create misery, but we also create a release of toxins from their pain and misery. And those toxins go into us, and their pain and misery go into us, and come out, manifest in us as chronic disease. Specifically, we can talk about it as the rate of diabetes and all the research in the world is saying people who are eating just a little bit of meat each day are actually increasing the rate of getting diabetes by 35 to 50 percent. Okay, there's a research done at Harvard with 121,000 people. They found people eating meat have a 20 percent increase in their mortality rates. And a 19 to 21 percent increase in their heart disease and a 13 percent increase in getting cancer. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. There's another study at Oxford with 44,000 people and they found a 32 percent increase in heart disease. So that's what we're talking about. Now why is that happening and why is it the most important thing evolutionary wise is that the research uh, at the governmental level in the United States um, really shows something very interesting. It, it basically says that 96% of the toxins, pesticides, herbicides, and so forth, and that these days radioactivity is concentrated in the animals because they're higher up in the food chain. Mm -hmm. So when we are eating lower on the food chain, which is vegan, we're not getting the same concentration. There is some, but certainly not the same concentration, and it actually makes a big difference. For example, a, uh, a vegetarian woman only has 2% of the pesticide and herbicide in her breast milk as a meat-eating woman. Now, that's a, actually a really big deal. So, veganism, the no spilling of blood, has us eating lower in the food chain, and therefore it's better for our health, it's very better for our spiritual life because we're not taking death into our system. It's better for the ecology because uh, animal agriculture takes 50 to 70 percent of the water, uh, greatly increases the air pollution, uh, and takes about a third of the arable land. So we're looking at, and it takes somewhere, depending on the statistic between 8 and 29 times more energy to produce so it depletes the ecology. The bigger uh, picture is if the whole world were to go vegan there'd be enough food to feed the world seven times over which is pretty significant so there wouldn't be that kind of um, hunger and starvation happening on the planet. So there are multiple levels and perhaps the most important is that when you're taking the pain and misery of the animal's death into you, it creates a certain chaotic uh, mental state that the animals are experiencing before they die. And we take that chaos into us, and so it agitates our mind. It's all about consciousness, again. It's all about consciousness <laughs> at the bottom of the thing. And when you're eating lower on the food chain, you're activating your consciousness. I would say this, in the whole story of that, is that each time in history, we're given the medicine to heal. And the veganism is the medicine for the healing of the planet at this time in history and as we go into the future. That's what we're saying. And just in case, you think we're getting too advanced here, I want to point out as far back as 2010, the European uh, Commission and the World Health Organization 
actually said the world, for the preservation of health and for the ecology, the world needs to move towards a vegan way of life. So it's actually getting to be uh, more standard thinking than just um, extremely progressive. So if the European Commission says it, the World Health Organization says veganism is very important for the, the survival of the planet, we're talking really significant shifts in consciousness.